the last couple of days I've actually had a bit of a running argument with some people uh, about climate change, and I'm obviously a contrarian. We don't believe that there is any serious uh, problem, at least caused by humans and CO2. And some people clearly who did think it was uh, a big problem. I suppose when you break down all of my objections, it's not the science. I'm a climate scientist, I don't pretend to be. It's probably goes down to the politics. Might sound a bit odd, however, bear with me. The politics say, this is a scientific problem, okay, and your solution is a tax. How does disincentivizing the actions of Joe Schmo consumer promote greater uh, technological innovation from the market? It doesn't. It just raises prices and we're used to that anyway. It's flogging a dead horse. Even if, and I'm not saying it is, even if there was a serious problem, this is nowhere close to the way to go about fixing it. You know, where's the International Monetary Fund or a big group of businesses that say, gee, our long-term customer base is going to be damaged if the world floods or goes to hell with it, weird weather. It is probably in our best interests to bring out better technologies to stem the problem, or at the very least, or kill it off entirely. Yet they don't. That, essentially, that disparity of logic is why I don't believe it's a threat. These people aren't stupid. They think long term. The head of GM, as I recall, um, almost had his board um, fired for not saying, not going along with it. So why haven't they gone gung ho? They can certainly afford to, and it is in their long term financial best interests. Doesn't make sense, so I don't believe it. That's as simple as that.